Welcome back to the wilderness this morning. We'll start with our daily practice of prayer. Lord God, we want to hear from you today. Father, we want to hear what you want to say to us. God, we want to hear your heart. Lord, we want to become more and more like your son, Jesus. Lord, mold us, shape us this morning. Help us to hear from you. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, there's a scripture that really hits me, and it's something I think about all the time, and it's a parable that Jesus tells of the persistent widow. And he tells it, Luke even tells us, this is Luke 18, Luke even tells us that Jesus tells this story so that you know to pray and never give up. In other words, to be persistent in prayer. You might not get what you want at the time of your asking. Maybe it's not the right thing for you. God knows better than we know. But it simply says this. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea. Um, who kept coming to him with a plea. Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused. But finally he said to himself, Even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see to it that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust says. And the unjust judge says, And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day in and day, day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? I love that last question because Jesus is like, Hey, when I come back, am I going to find this kind of faith, the faith of this persistent widow? The kind of faith that, that, that has sores on their knees because they're down on their knees praying and asking God to do something huge? Am I going to find that sort of faith? I love this parable because Jesus literally says that you, you just go back to God with shameless audacity and you keep asking and petitioning and asking over and over again. God talks, uh, Jesus talks in the Bible um, about God being like this good father who delights in giving his children good things, who delights in giving us what we, what we need for his kingdom service. Now, there's a few things here. One, I, I don't think God likes giving us things that hurt us. Sometimes we ask for something and if God were to give that to us, it, it might harm us. And so I think that there's some caution there. I'm not saying that he doesn't answer prayer or anything like that. I'm just saying I think that the reason why sometimes God doesn't answer is because it hurts us. I want to tell you this. I, for years on Monday mornings, I've been meeting with prayer partners and and we've been tracking what we've been praying. And, and much of that has been for you, the church, and, and, and for our finances. And just really as a church as a whole, we've been praying over this place for the last uh, number of years. And it is incredible that, you know, some things we just, they're on that list every week and we haven't heard a thing yet from God on it. But some other things have just been huge. You know, what, when we're, we've gone through times of uh, bad finances before, we were just praying for that and all of a sudden big gifts would just show up seemingly out of nowhere. <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, you know, we're praying for people to get jobs and, and, you know, all of a sudden people are working again. We're praying for people in their relationships and, and, and God moves in their relationships. But my point is, on a day-to-day -day basis, it doesn't look like anything is changing. It's only when you go back and you look at that whole big chart of, you know, this is what I've been praying for. And I look back at my journals and see how much God has moved over the years. God delights in giving his kids good things. God loves you. He is a father that is good. In the, par in the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, you know, if a, if a child asks a father for a fish, for a snack, would he give him a snake instead? No, he wouldn't. He would give him a fish because he delights in giving his children good things, just as I delight in giving my kids good things. So today, I, I want to encourage you, your prayer life might seem stale or stopped. 
because maybe you prayed for a while and you didn't notice any discernible difference. I want to challenge you today to write down your prayers to write down when you prayed and then to keep praying. And even if you pray for the same thing the next day, write that down too. Because God is gonna move in that area. And when he does, write that down too as a praise. Because it helps us to see and that builds our faith and helps us to go further down this road into Christian maturity, to becoming more and more like Jesus. So I want to challenge you today to be like this persistent widow. This is what Jesus told us to do, to bug him, to pray with shameless audacity, and to go after what it is we're requesting. So I want to challenge you today. What is your prayer life like? Are you going after it with this shameless audacity? Are you seeking after God on a regular basis? Are you writing these things down? Because God delights in giving you good things. I hope you have a great day. And I can't wait to see you again soon.